So do you have a ceiling fan with a remote like this, but want to add that ceiling fan into your home automations? Well, you can pick up the Broadlink Universal Remote. This thing is actually going to replace the remote on your ceiling fan and allow you to connect it to either the Alexa or Google ecosystem. So not only can you use your voice to control the fan, but you can also add this fan into home automations. We're going to be diving into that now, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So something that I really wanted to add into my home automations was my ceiling fan. And I didn't want to spend all that money to get a brand new ceiling fan with all of the smart integrations built into it, but I did find this right here. This is the Broadlink Universal Remote. This specific one is the RM4 Pro. Now essentially what this device is, is that it's an IR and RF blaster, meaning that any of your devices that use remotes like that it can actually duplicate and make it smart. So whether you're gonna be using a ceiling fan, I also use it for these little guys. So these are the plugs that I use outside for my Christmas lights. These are just dumb plugs. They use an IR controller inside. I've got five of them in this box right here. These are the Zap Outdoor Switches. And the cool thing that I like about this is that I don't have to be in direct line of sight so I can use the little remote that comes with this anywhere in my house to turn all of these switches here on and off. But what I also did is that I added them to this Broadlink remote too. And then I put that into my Amazon Alexa account and now I can control all of that through an automation, whether I'm setting up schedules or automating it or you know setting up some kind of trigger to use it. It can all be set up and used in my Alexa app, which is something that I absolutely love. Now, I was taking a look at this on the Amazon website, and there's a lot of other cool things that you can use this for. Pretty much anything that has one of these types of remotes. And that's going to be things like TVs, sound systems, projectors, window shades. There are lots of different things. Anything that you think that has a remote like this one can probably be programmed into this hub right here. But enough talking about that. I'm going to show you guys how I got my ceiling fan connected to this and then how I integrated it into my Amazon account. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up the Broadlink app. Now, I've already got mine all set up. I've been using this for about two years now. I don't know, maybe it's been three years, two and a half, three years now. I've never had any problems with it. This thing has worked great for me. Now, I will say it can be a little confusing to set up. It's not super intuitive, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. Essentially, I've got the Broadlink one on the top, uh, which is the universal remote, uh, and that is what we have right here plugged in so we can set this up. We've got uh, the downstairs ceiling fan, and then we've got the upstairs ceiling fan. And both of those fans are both the exact same. They're both Hunter fans. Um, I bought them at the same time from Costco, and they come with this remote right here. If we take a look down here, um, I've got my ceiling fans, I've got my crystal lights, everything set up in here, but we're gonna set up a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus button in the very top corner. I'm gonna say add device. And then from here, we wanna do remote controls. I'm gonna do the IR and, I, IR and RF devices. And then yes, we wanna use the Broadlink hub that I have right here. Now you can go through this list and try to find your brand. I have not found this to work for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and click on fans. And it's saying I can go ahead and search my fans. So we'll say add the appliance. And for me, I'm gonna do a search for Hunter because that is my brand name, Hunter, and nothing comes up, which is fine. So I'm gonna click done on there. At the very bottom, it says, I can't find my brand, learn the remote right away. So that's what I want. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Now we've got two options here. We've got the front end lights up with a lamp or beam. So we've got two options there for, it says lens or bead. And then below that, we've got no bead or no lens. And if I take a look at this, there's no extra light on there. There's nothing on here right there. So I know this is an RF remote. So I'm gonna click on RF. I'm gonna select the bedroom that I wanna put it in. For me, it's going to be the master bedroom. I click next on the bottom, and here's where I'm gonna name it. And I would recommend naming this something that you are going to call it, and something that is obviously specific, because whatever name you put in here, that is the name it's going to add to your Amazon Alexa ecosystem, or maybe your Google Assistant ecosystem. So I'm gonna say master bedroom fan is what I am going to name mine. So I'm gonna click save on there. And I'm gonna say, I know, and if we take a look, we just had a pop-up that said the master bedroom fan was added to Amazon Alexa. So cool, it just added it. But now we need to set up the remote. So we are going to say, uh, use this device now. Uh, one of the more of the buttons, 
are not working, that's fine. Okay, so here's what we need to do to set it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on the on button and it's going to say it's gonna learn my remote. So I'm gonna go ahead and say start learning. We are going to say learn my RF code, which is the top option there. Now it's asking for the frequency. If I look on the back of my remote, it gives me the frequency. Mine is 434. So input here, I'm gonna say 434 is my frequency, done. I'm gonna click on next and it's gonna to say to push the on button onto my remote. So I'm gonna push that. Gonna take a second here. Perfect. Now it loaded up and it said that it detected it for the on, so I'm gonna tap the on button. Did this device work properly? Now, for me, now that I tap that on button, it actually turned my fan off, which is unfortunate. So I'm gonna say, yes, that worked. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the off button. So the reason I want the off button, even though they do the same thing, is it just helps me when I set up my automations to select, say, an off button. So we'll say start learning, we'll do the RF remote again. It kept my code in there. I'm gonna click next again, and let's go ahead and push the same button again. Found that button, took a few seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on there again. Now we've set up the off one. So what I also wanna do, on this remote, I've got a light and I've got power up and down. So let's see, I have my options. I don't see light, so I'm gonna click on more. Now, there are no options on here for light either. Um, I mean, I guess that's fine. What you can do is you don't have to really use any of these pre-programmed ones. So I'm gonna click X on here and I'm just gonna say, which one here am I not gonna use? We'll just click on mute. I'm not gonna use mute, but we're gonna set this one up. So it's gonna program the mute. I'm gonna say start learning, RF. Next on the frequency, I'm gonna turn the light on. So I just push the light on button. All right, and it found the light on button. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. Yes, it did what I wanted it to do. Now I know that it's doing what I wanted it to because I've already set it up and tested it out. Okay, so now the mute button is essentially the light on off button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on the three buttons in the top right corner. That is going to bring up edit buttons. Perfect, and then for mute, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one and we're just gonna retitle this one to light. Perfect, done. Okay, so now that one same like with uh, my on off button for the fan is going to set that one up. Okay, so there is one caveat that I wanted to bring up. If you're gonna be using your voice assistant, we do have to do a setup a little bit differently because if you remember when we initially set this one up right here, the master bedroom fan, we got the pop-up from the top, the Alexa one that said that the fan has been added to Amazon Alexa. But the initial thing that we set up, which for us is going to be that on off button, is all that was actually programmed into the Amazon Alexa. I can program the rest of these in right here, so lights and speed and all that kind of stuff, but as far as the Amazon environment goes, it doesn't notice that stuff. So we have to set up a separate device here to get that working if you wanna use voice control. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back out of this right here and we're gonna set up another device just for the lights. So I'm gonna click on add device. We're gonna go through remote control, do all the same ones that we did before. So we're gonna pick all of these right here. All right, we're gonna select a master bedroom because that's the one it's gonna be in. We're gonna say okay down below and then we are going to name it. So this one we are going to name Master Bedroom Ceiling Light. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save for that one. Now we see at the top that it has added the Master Bedroom Ceiling Light, perfect. I'm gonna click I know on the bottom and we're gonna say use this device now. That looks okay, so we're gonna set up one of these buttons. All right, so what I wanna do here is that we can either, I mean, we know that we can change the names of these right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the on button. We're gonna say start learning. I click on the RF code right there. We know our RF code is going to be 434. Done. We're gonna click next. And then, let's see here, grab the remote and I'm gonna push the light button. Perfect, it discovered that. I'm gonna say yes to that. And then we're gonna click on the off button, start learning, RF code again. Next again, and we're just gonna push the same light button again. Notice that one, and that is going to be for our off buttons. All right, now that we've got everything up and running in here, and it's now in our Amazon Alexa app, let's go ahead and use our voice assistant to test these things out. I guess since we're here in the app, I'll show you how to set up with the voice assistant. We are gonna click on the me button down in the bottom right hand corner. We're gonna click on the fourth option down, it says add voice assistant. 
So we're gonna click on that. And then for me, I'm gonna click on the Alexa top one right there. At the bottom, I'm gonna, going to say link now. And then it's asking me if I wanna link these together. So I'm gonna click a link on the bottom. What this is going to do is it's going to link those two together, which we see it is all linked up, good to go. So now that we've got that linked up in there, we can go ahead and use the voice assistant. So let's go test that out right now. Computer, turn on the master bedroom fan. Okay. Computer, turn on the master bedroom ceiling light. Okay. And there we go, as easy as that. All right, so using this device right here can be a little bit confusing. You just have to realize that each individual thing, if you're gonna use your voice assistant, has to be set up as its own individual button on the app. But if you're gonna be using the app for automations or not setting up a lot of detail within the Amazon Alexa environment, then you're probably okay. Like for me, I said that I use these for Christmas lights. I use these for turning my ceiling fan on and off through automations. So I'm pretty basic with my use for it, but if you're gonna be using these to set up TVs and sound bars and projectors and just dive it all in, then just be prepared that you might have to put a lot of time into it initially. Once you get it all set up, you're probably going to be fine. But what do you guys think of this device? Is it a nice, simple thing to set up if you just want the basics, or do you like something else that's a little bit more involved? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what other products there are out there. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.